All right, what's up guys? Good morning. Uh, I wanted to take a quick minute. I'm not going to give you the 30-minute uh, the infomercial, so uh, don't, uh, don't sweat that. But I did want to talk about uh, this crate that uh, I developed with Dakota 283. I've spent about, uh, it's, it's been almost two years of going back and forth with uh, this company, Dakota 283, uh, working together and collaborating on a crate. Uh, over the years, I've been through a ton of crates, uh, as have a, a lot of you guys. Anytime you got a dog that has separation anxiety or, um, you know, is just really difficult to deal with in terms of uh, being overstimulated in a crate and wants to get out the uh, very kennel and, and pet mate uh, type of crates that you get at Petco and PetSmart are not, uh, not really sufficient to hold them. So we developed this crate. Uh, I just want to kind of unbox it and show it to you guys. Uh, and, and talk about what the features are, why they're there, and uh, just kind of give you a heads up. Uh, one, one thing, if you do order four of them, uh, they do come on a pallet and have to be delivered uh, by a semi, and, and it's a little more difficult to get it in than just one. If you order one, it comes in, in this box just like that, shipped the same way uh, anything else does. So uh, let's get, uh, get it going. All right, I've shedded a layer of clothing. It's hot uh, as shit unboxing these things. As you can see, it comes all in one piece. Um, it does come wrapped in that plastic uh, just for a little added protection, but uh, there's nothing to put together, which uh, I'm gonna level with you. One of the things that drives me the most nuts about furniture or anything else, uh, Ikea style, is putting, putting that shit together. It drives me nuts. I, I like having something that's a solid piece and uh, is all, all put together. You don't have to do anything with it. So this, uh, this plastic is super heavy duty. Um, it's not not flimsy and and doesn't bow the way you know the other crates do it's got uh, two handles built in to the side right here as you can see uh, these are new holes the the uh, kind of 1.0 edition had uh, bigger holes and fewer of them uh, but we had a couple of dogs that could get their teeth uh, on them uh, and start to, to get their way out so we modified uh, <clears throat> this pattern design to make uh, a similar amount of, of airflow, and we're actually going to add a few more holes. Uh, I think we're going to add one here, 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 etc., all the way around. So we'll add it'll add about 20% more more ventilation than than even what this one is. But um, again, handles on this side also. So if you grab both uh, with a dog in it, two on each side, it's it's pretty easy. Uh, the whole pattern in the back. Uh, this one works well for drainage, uh, but really all of them do. Uh, the key thing that I wanted was no holes at the very bottom uh, so that if there is an accident uh, where a dog gets sick or goes to the bathroom or what have you, <clears throat> that there's not, uh, you know, that's not, not spilling out the back uh, like a, a normal drainage hole would have. Um, the key kind of features of this kennel really uh, where it's at is the door. Um, this door is really, really heavy duty. It's expanded steel. Uh, this, this buckle is, is really, really sturdy. It's lockable. There's the keys that just fell. Um, and the frame is, is really, really heavy duty as well. So um, from my experience, you know, the dogs that want to get out, the door is usually the weakest point uh, or any, any window or hole big enough for the dog to, to get its mouth on. So um, that's really kind of the, the basis behind this design is the hard to keep dogs, uh, you know, that really have uh, have their way with, with just about every kennel. I've had dogs eat their way out of every other kennel I've ever bought, uh, every single one of them. Uh, even the, the big name brands that, uh, you know, that, uh, that this, I, I guess, technically would be a competitor against. And, and that's why this crate exists is because I had dogs that I, I had no crate that I could put them in. So uh, I've put those same dogs that could eat out of every, every other crate in this crate and, uh, and they've not been able to get out of it. So uh, one, one other feature uh, that I want to talk about real quick before I wrap it up is, uh, is these locks, right? Is that they're basically deadbolt style. Um, I mean, it's as, as sturdy as, as really a, I mean, it's even more sturdy than, than a household door like that. It's metal, it's a you know, reinforced metal frame, uh, two deadbolts at the top and bottom, so a dog can't headbutt it, it can't paw it out. There's nothing for it to grab and yank it in, uh, and then there's no holes that are big enough in the, uh, 
in the interior of the kennel for the dog to get their mouth on to, to open it up. So um, really, really happy with this crate. Uh, its exterior dimensions are the same size as a very kennel 500. Uh, I'll show you what the, what two of them side by side look like in the back of my truck. They fit just perfect. Uh, and it's not super heavy, um, you know, compared to, uh, say, Gunner or Impact kennels. Um, you know, the Impact kennels are probably similar in weight. The Gunner kennels are, are quite a bit heavier, but uh, I can pick this up no problem, um, you know, by, by myself, whereas uh, some of the others, uh, you really need two people to, to do it. But uh, ergonomically, it, uh, the handles work really, really well. And again, it's just, uh, this is the crate project that, uh, that I developed with Dakota 283. You can order these on tricos.com uh, or Dakota 283 kennels. Um, it's called the Hero Crate or the Mike Ritland Crate. Um, <clears throat> But uh, at any rate, cost-wise, uh, they're $7.99, which uh, a lot of people say, holy shit, you know, for, for a dog crate, yes. The, uh, the, the similar size Vary Kennel is, uh, you know, in the upwards of $200. Um, but rest assured, you'll, you'll go through more than four of them uh, if you have a dog that, uh, that gets their way out of them. Uh, this is a lifetime kennel for sure. It's, it's super sturdy very well built and uh, I'm just really happy with it uh, and that $7.99 shipping <coughs> shipping is included in that which uh, a lot of the other crates that's you know well over a hundred dollars to, to ship that thing so I uh, just wanted to show you that again it's something I've been working on for a few years and I'm, I'm very proud of it so uh, feel free to check it out if you've got a, a dog that warrants being in there and uh, I'll give you a quick quick uh, show of, of what that looks like in the uh, the back of the truck so all right, guys, so we got uh, two of them unboxed. Uh, this is what they look like in the back of uh, a truck, an F-150 size truck. Uh, they fit pretty pretty perfect. So uh, one other thing of note, they do come in two different colors, uh, coyote tan, uh, and it's like a gunmetal gray type of uh, type of color. So whatever suits your fancy, uh, that's that's what they are. And uh, again, uh, this, is, uh, this is what they look like. So. Uh, hopefully, uh, if you need a, a crate like this for your dog, uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, if not, go ahead and choke yourself and uh, get one of the cheap shit ones. I don't care. But uh, at any rate, this is the crate I've been working on. Wanted to show you guys. Haven't done really a formal review on it uh, or kind of showing you what the, what the features are. That's what they are. Get one, don't get one, whatever. So, hope you have a good one.